welcome back my Canadian cousins to part two of Gord Downey's The Secret Path. Um, I hope you've watched part one. If you haven't, I'm going to drop a link in the description and I suggest that you watch that before watching this, but and I explain what I'm doing. And so that we don't waste uh, time because I introed that part of the video. Let's just get straight to it, my friends, okay? I will not be struck. Look at the flames and reflected in his pupils. to look at the map that he's watching so I can get a idea of the geography he's taking the railroad and I see the um, where he's headed for I, I don't know how to pronounce it I'm really sorry if I'm saying this wrong the um, Agoki post okay I see where that is in relation to Lake Superior <clears throat> Thunder Bay okay you know, it's interesting. It's like these are um, each of these songs is like a chapter of this uh, short story. Could he not read or not read well? He's having trouble with the map. It's useless. I can't read it. Jesus, did he get lost?
you know, I know, I know I said it already, but I just think the, um, the artwork is so good and it is in that graphic art style, but brought to life in a way that it feels real. It feels like I'm, I'm watching a, a, a live person and not just a, a artistic rendering of a live person, knowing that he was real makes it more impactful, but the artistry of this is brilliant. And it is the combination of the music and the art that is really bringing it to life and making me feel that I'm really watching this, this poor soul's story, this poor little boy, just trying to get home. All alone, scared, cold, And yet, he'd rather do this than go back. The alternative is worse. <clears throat> Son. You know that they just can't rest. No man could make them feel nervous And they put zero into it And their country doesn't exist Son, when you dance I'll be on your shoulder Beautiful. Again, look how he co uh, they color his father as compared to him and the environment he's in. Ooh, that was a powerful one. 
and it seems to capture this the you know deep and rich spirituality of uh, First Nations people in general. This is ominous. Freezing rain and ice pellets walking home. I'm covered in it. The empty match jar. Walking home. See that? Secret path. Did you say secret path? Pale blue doesn't do what they said it do. It's just a jacket. It's a wind. Jean jacket, they call it a windbreaker. Freezing. He's freezing and he's not dressed appropriately. He doesn't have a winter coat on or a waterproof coat, just a windbreaker. Portraying, you know, not only the misery, but the losing of hope. The losing of hope that this is going to succeed, that he will get there. And the freezing rain and the ice pellets coat the rail so I can't even tight rope it. Hmm. 
next chapter. I wonder what day this is. Uh, I guess I could have counted how many times they stopped they stopped for a campfire, but I'm not sure. Seven matches. It's been over a week, I guess. Confused by freedom, what do you do with freedom? And then earlier he said, words don't make the rain stop. Is he free? Is he still trapped? Is he still prisoner walking in this rain endlessly along the train tracks? The things they do. I heard the heavy whispers whispering, don't let this touch you. It's almost too much to bear. I mean, obviously that happened quite frequently. Um, do they know if that happened to poor Charlie?
sure hope I'm stopping enough that this gets posted. Uh, speechless right now. I don't know if anything to say. He just keeps moving. <laughs> okay, my friends. So I'm gonna stop here for part to the conclusion. This concludes part two. I will probably post one and two together or very close together within a day of each other. And then I will post three and four within uh, at the same time within a few days. So please stick with me, stay tuned. And as I said, I'm going to reserve my final thoughts and comments on all of this at the conclusion of the entirety of the movie. So at the end of part four. All right, my friends, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.